Don't crash your unit test for faster feedback. Good evening, everyone. <coughs> uh, yeah, um, this talk is not about unit testing. So if you're here and you want to learn unit testing, I'm sorry. This is already past that process. If you're here to learn Docker, I'm sorry, but this is not a tutorial about Docker. This is about, OK, you know Docker, you know PHP unit. How can we use the, those tools to make your uh, unit tests go faster? OK? Uh, first of all, for those who don't know me yet, um, I'm Michelangelo van Dam. I'm from Belgium. Um, I'm a professional PHP consultant at uh, Into IT. I'm also president of PHP Benelux. If you weren't in Antwerp uh, this January, uh, blame is on you. Uh, I'm uh, uh, contributing to uh, several open source projects. I speak at conferences and I'm a certified uh, PHP engineer, or a Zend engineer, how they call it. Uh, again, this talk is not about me. It's not about uh, learning how to use uh, PHP unit, but we start off with PHP unit nonetheless. Uh, PHP unit is by far the most used uh, uh, tool framework uh, to write unit tests. I know that PHP core is itself tested with simple test. Uh, see, uh, people have uh, simple test, uh, codeception, uh, all kinds of things, uh, but the majority still relies on PHP unit. Also the major frameworks are still implementing PHP unit. So I decided to uh, address this talk using PHP unit. And as you know, um, PHP unit comes with a lot of extras. Um, first of all, you can run it off your command line. Um, I do this all the time. I love that. It uh, gives me more control. But um, if you have uh, uh, an IDE like PHP Storm, uh, you have a play button. All you have to do is say play, and pss, magically, everything starts happening. So um, yeah, uh, let me just uh, shut this down, because you don't want to be bored. Um, of course, I see also development teams. Uh, they have a dedicated server to run their test on. Uh, and this is not including a, a continuous integration. This is just a platform that is being provided to the developers to run their test. Uh, of course, this uh, is uh, very beautiful and very convenient. But if you already have a dedicated uh, test server, why not install a CI system that does the work for you? Uh, of course, you can choose of uh, Jenkins, TeamCity, Bamboo, or any other online services. Uh, I think uh, Miro can tell all about uh, uh, CircleCI if you're interested and, uh, and so on. So yeah, go check it out. If you have to do it, uh, let the machine do it and not yourself. Saves you a bunch of time. And then, of course, the new kids in town, uh, Vagrant uh, virtualization makes it a lot easier uh, to run all kinds of uh, platforms and uh, environments uh, at your command and the latest kit on the block is docker so those are the tools that we actually have at our convenience um, is there someone using command line a lot okay i know this crowd <laughs> very good crowd but um, if you use uh, php unit a lot you also uh, recognize these drawbacks i mean um, if you have many tests, I'm not talking about uh, 10 tests. I'm talking about like 10,000 tests, 60,000, 100,000 tests. It will take uh, quite some time to execute. And that is, in my opinion, the, the, the biggest drawback. Also, your environment is not always ready for testing. And what I mean with that is um, you're working on a feature, and all of a sudden, manager runs in, hey, uh, the payment system is out. Can you check that? You, you swap your environment. And all of a sudden, you've got mixed code uh, in your um, in your run uh, sequence. So when you run PHP unit on your command line, all of a sudden something uh, goes wrong, and you have to figure out: is this because I switched, or is this because I introduced a new bug? And also, your tests aren't providing good feedback because they will point you to a reference that is no longer your reference, but from the other project that you were working on. So. Uh, XKCD had uh, made a very nice uh, comic about it. Uh, the no, uh, number one programmer excuse for legitimate uh, slacking off, we're running unit test. Get back to work. No, we're testing. Oh, carry on. I mean, yeah, this should not be the case, right? Um, another thing that you also fail um, see uh, failing are the systems that you work on. Uh, and this was also the trigger for this talk. Uh, who came into that particular 
uh, point in time that uh, you run your unit test and your PHP unit said, uh, do it yourself because my memory is exhausted. Who's been there? Okay, you're not running your unit test that well. <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, other things is uh, uh, all of a sudden your disk is full and, and this is uh, often because uh, someone still has activated logging for the test environment. And I, I hear people laugh, but it occurs, right? Um, if you are running your test, uh, you probably want to have this in an isolated environment. And uh, no network or network latency are only introducing more problems that you need to solve. So you want to stay away from any kind of connections that you make. And of course, um, the system can crash because it's still hardware, right? And then, I was introduced to Docker. So Docker and the container uh, uh, virtualization, as they call it, um, made me think, OK, what is Docker now exactly? Uh, it's a technology platform. Uh, it allows you to run processes in separate containers. Uh, scales fast and seamlessly. I mean, all the marketing crap. Uh, what I actually got from all the developers is it's the, ne the next best thing since sliced bread. So, Okay, if it's really that good, why don't I give it a try? So, I was looking at how people use Docker. I mean, when we think about containers, we like to put stuff in and then we ship it somewhere, but people actually live there. Uh, so, what I see is that, and this is a lot of people doing it, is they mimic a distributed architecture. So, they have a load balancer, they have two web servers, they have like five database servers, uh, Redis cluster and so on and so on. So they mimic the whole environment using Docker. This is pretty cool. I mean, it, Docker allows you to do that. Um, another thing that I also see, and this, uh, this has more um, usage, is hey, I've got this awesome tool, including a database, including a uh, caching layer, and so on, and I'm going to package this inside a Docker container and ship it to everyone that wants to use it. Which is also cool. I mean, uh, you know, you, you, you mentioned it uh, with your... Uh, uh, PHP stand. PHP stand. So it comes completely inside a Docker container. Do Docker container. But uh, we're... I mean, I, I tend to go a lot to Starbucks. I'm not going there and, and, and drink out of a... <coughs> Uh, ceramic uh, mug. I'm just getting a paper mug. It's filled with coffee. I'll walk out 20 feet away. I can toss it away because it's empty. So that kind of approach made me think, can I also do this with Docker? Put stuff in it, have it execute. When it's done, throw it away. And Docker was very, very well equipped for this. So I ended up somewhere in, in Germany. And uh, I was having this uh, discussion with uh, uh, the developers over there. And, and I said, OK, this is the problem that I want to solve. So how can we go about it? So we started building uh, a, a couple of unit tests, uh, uh, 10K unit tests, uh, to be exact. Um, we, we built some containers. And then we started to execute PHP unit more efficiently. So let's go through the whole process that we went through is, well, let's first see how fast it goes when we run them all. I mean, this is a very good benchmark, right? So we decided, OK, let's run them all. 10K tests, well, a little over in less than four seconds. Not bad, not bad. So let's see how can we improve this? How can we speed up this whole process? And the first thing that we needed to do is, can we actually split up our unit test? Well, yes, we can. Um, there are several ways. I was using the add group annotation, and because uh, all your unit tests have grouping, so we can use the group annotation. But you can also decide on um, a directory path. You can also decide on uh, yeah, filters that you create, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, purposes that you want to use, um, you can implement. So we decided, OK, uh, let's use the add group annotation to split up our unit test. 
And the first thing that you do is, okay, what are my, uh, my groups? So PHP unit minus minus list groups gives you the complete overview of all your uh, groups that you have defined. In this case, we have four uh, groups uh, defined. Three we defined ourselves and default being the default for everything that we didn't tag. So if you only see default, yeah, you need to add some annotation in your unit test. So let's have a look at uh, the group filter. Well, group filter, okay, we execute it. It only contains four tests, which is okay. I mean, we can do this. But um, yeah, I don't want to do this for all my tests manually. So I was <coughs> using bash to my help, and this will be like the common thread in the whole presentation. So please keep focus. Uh, what we do here is we loop uh, through the list groups and uh, we're going to execute uh, PHP unit on them. So when we execute it, it's, uh, it's taking some time to spin up. It starts. 10 seconds and then almost a second per special group, which is, in our uh, scenario, not an improvement, but worsening the, the whole process. So is this a good path uh, to go? Well, with this 60% uh, increase of time, um, yeah, we need to come up with something more efficient, something more solid. Um, so yeah, people said, oh, use Docker. OK, let's have a look at Docker. So how can we actually use Docker to execute our unit test and throw away after we're done? So ru run uh, Docker run, uh, and then use the terminal, uh, remove after the we're done. We use the current work directory to map it to a directory where we execute PHP unit in as a working directory inside the container. So let's have a look at it. Go. Four point six seconds. We started off with uh, uh, less than three seconds, or less than four seconds. So we're still not there yet. So how can we keep on improving this? Well, I came across GNU Parallel. Who knows this tool? Only a few people. Okay, it's uh, it's a tool that allows you to execute multiple commands in parallel on your system. So basically, for non-threaded uh, systems, it allows you to, to thread them on several cores. So let's uh, use the group list and pass it on to parallel and see what happens. It takes a while. So 2.8. 1.9, 2.6, and it keeps on going. So as you can see, we're again worse off. So we started to figure out, OK, why is it that it will take that long? One of the things that we came uh, to conclusion is we want Docker to report to the terminal. So we actually need to have an interface between the container and our system slowing down the whole container process. <coughs> so instead of uh, uh, echoing to the terminal, we run them as a daemon. And we use a time just to capture the time of execution. So when we start uh, executing this, this is fast, this is fast. But don't be fooled. Because even though it says, oh, 0 0.2 seconds, yeah, that's just to indicate that we're putting something in the background. So we're not there yet. But as you can see, we're already at 2.634 seconds in total of execution. Because it doesn't have to report. But we're still not there yet because we have forgotten one major thing that we are essentially needing w uh, with PHP unit. Output. Output. Question to you, what is more important? That we can see the progress or that we get reports when something failed? 
Who says the first one? Okay. <laughs> Who says the last one? Yeah. All right. Exactly. As long as everything is okay, I don't need to know. I just need to know when something breaks. So, where are my failures? I don't see them. So, we just add another line of execution. <laughs> Basically, what we do here is, and I put it in pseudocode, we first loop over our group list entries. We run them in Docker as demonized. And then we loop again over these uh, uh, list entries to fetch the exit status of PHP unit from the containers. If the container is exiting with a status different from zero, means that there is a failure, and therefore we can show us the failure. So let's go back here. You see it? Feel it. <laughs> yeah? You're there? There's some more improvement that we can do, but uh, that was going way over the top, is to put that uh, second uh, loop here, uh, also uh, in, in parallel, so it will be executed in parallel as well. Uh, but yeah, that would make like the complete screen of my uh, uh, presentation filled with uh, command line. So you can add it and think <coughs> about it, how to implement it. So when you put this down, there you go. It took 2.8 seconds, but we already found an error. So it reports immediately back. The only thing that I wasn't able to uh, figure out is how I could actually have the color code reporting back to me. But if that is the only thing to prevent me to speed up my unit test, I can live with that. I can live with that. Another advantage of using this approach Someone in the room? What is another huge advantage of using it this way? Let me go back to the command line here. It echoes only failure. Sorry? It echoes only failure. It echoes, yeah, but what's another advantage of taking this approach? <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you're actually hitting the point. I mean, it doesn't really matter because now you can run it against all versions of PHP. So you just grabbed the, 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 the container and I just took it from the hub. But if you have like uh, specific uh, extensions or specific uh, requirements, you can build your own image and pull that image in and pull it from all the original ones and you're set to go. But it allows you to actually test against all kinds of versions of PHP or all kinds of versions of MySQL or all kinds of versions that, of whatever tool that you're using. If you're upgrading your framework, Laravel, Zen Framework, Symfony, it doesn't matter, you, you want to pre-test it to make sure that nothing breaks, well, now you have a tool for that. Yeah? So. I don't know how you feel about this, but for me, it is freaking awesome party time. Any questions? Yes, sir. If you have a failure in a, in a group that has 10,000 Yeah, uh, the thing is, is that, and this is a good approach, especially when um, implementing CI, is that you stop on failure, stop on error. So. so Yeah, yeah, but the, the, the failure was somewhere in the middle of uh, the uh, 10K test, so. So you do get like, okay, I'm stopping right now and, and continue. Uh, what you can also do is, if you have a uh, failure that your container signals to all the other containers to shut down. So you, you can use signaling within Docker, which is implemented like three, four months ago. So you, you can use that as a signal, okay, shut everything down, which is also a huge advantage. Uh, yes, sir? It's about paralleling uh, the getting the status of tests, right? Yes. But uh, how about racing conditions? So if you want to get status of the test that didn't well, the output, is, the output is the same as you would normally uh, get uh, with PHP unit. Even for race conditions, 
if you get like a race condition because of other elements failing, you will get the, the, the same information as you would normally get with a PHP unit. It's the status says I'm, exit, uh, uh, I'm exiting here with a status different from zero. Okay. So the output is exactly the same. We just capture it in a different way. So if I go back here to my famous command line here, what we do here is we use yeah, well, where it's on the slides. All you have to do is grab the slides. I will upload them to the, the, the joined in. Uh, so you, you just copy paste it and you're done. So the Docker wait waits until an exit status is available. Docker logs is pulling the, the output of that container. So we're actually doing two things. We wait until the execution is uh, completed and then if it's completed, we grab the output if the status yeah, is different from zero. Like you're waiting for, for yeah. 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 Okay. So, any other questions? Yes? Have you tried this with some open source project that takes like two or five minutes to run tests? Uh, I run this against uh, Zen Framework 3. Uh, it took me um, like uh, one minute something. What's the normal time running? Uh, seven minutes. Well, well, the thing is, the thing is with uh, with Docker, you can put stuff in the background. If you run PHP unit on the command line, the only way that you can actually have it execute in the background is using ampersand or move it into a background container or use screen. But those are uh, layers that are re requiring a lot more uh, resources of your system rather than uh, using Docker. So putting a um, PHP unit into the background will still report to your terminal unless you disconnect your terminal at the same time. But then you don't have any output whatsoever. So if you, if you could monitor your file, like if you put it in the background... No, 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 no. PHP unit reports back to the standard uh, output. Okay, you can see the N yeah, I tried that. It doesn't work. Yeah, well, you try it, try it yourself. If if you if you can make it, then it's problem on my system. But I couldn't I couldn't do it. It still reports out uh, to the standard out. Yes, sir. Can you use something else as group, for example? Yeah, like I said, you 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 can use directories, you can use filters, you can use uh, classes, namespaces. So. Yeah, but then you're, if you're going to do that kind of approach, then the, the whole find procedure will slow down the execution of it. So if you want to use the tools, you can also use like uh, a, a class map where you say, okay, I, I'm going to execute uh, class map A, B, and C. Uh, so it, uh, it knows exactly what kind of classes you want to execute. Uh, yeah, that's probably the fastest. Yeah. 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 Any other questions? Well, um, that's it, folks. Uh, if you like this talk, thank you. If you think it should, could be better, tell me how, and uh, I can only improve uh, this talk. Uh, I will put the slides on this uh, joined in. Uh, so uh, leave some feedback, grab the slides, and uh, have a nice uh, evening. A uh, small introduction about what we do as a business. We're all about quality assurance and uh, testing. We can even provide you like uh, training on that, especially on PHP 7 and on uh, QA. Uh, so that's it. Thank you. Have a great night. Enjoy the beer. <laughs>